There are so many different types of trees out in the forest. Trees with smooth bark, rough bark, they even grow differently from one another. The thing is, I don't know any of their names. Why don't we head inside and warm up with a good book that's gonna help us identify winter trees. Hello everyone, my name is Lexi. I'm a naturalist with the Baltimore Woods Nature Center in Marcellus, New York. Today we're gonna to be reading a book called Winter Trees by Carol Gerber with illustrations by Leslie Evans. Crunch, we walk through fresh new snow that sparkles on the frozen ground. It's peaceful here among the trees. Our footsteps make the only sound. Trees that once had leaves are bare. They're dressed instead in lacy white. Snow dusts their trunks and coats their limbs with flakes that outline them with light. They stand distinct as skeletons. We clearly see the form of each. The egg shape of the maple tree the taller oval of the beach. The V formation of the birch, the yellow poplar wide and high, the spreading structure of the oak, its branches reaching toward the sky. The sugar maple's bark is gray, its twigs are brown, its buds are stout, with claw-like tips that in the spring will burst to shoot new green leaves out. It looks like this kid is tapping a maple tree to get the sap from within it and then they'll make maple syrup. The beech tree called American has bark that's smooth and silver gray. Tan leaves still cling to limbs and branches on this cold, bright winter day. The peeling bark of paper birch feeds hungry hares that eat their fill. Inside the trunk, a narrow nest protects a bird from winter's chill. Tall yellow poplar's furrowed bark surrounds a trunk that's straight and neat. Its reddish twigs hold puffy buds for deer, a tasty winter treat. See bur oak's ridged enormous trunk, its massive limbs that intertwine it's tangled twigs that twist and point, a strange bewitching tree to find. Now all the trees that we've seen so far don't have their leaves right now. What are those trees called? They're called deciduous trees. The evergreens don't change their look. We see their needles all year round. 
The older needles near the trunk drop off and fall onto the ground. Now these leaves look a lot different, right? Evergreen leaves, or those little needles that you see, are adapted or made for the cold, so they don't have to lose them like the deciduous trees do. Eastern hemlock sloping branches droop with tiny twigs and cones. The hemlock lives for centuries. Look how huge this tree has grown. White spruce looks like a pyramid. Cones hang from branches near the crown. Don't touch its needles, ouch, they're sharp. Its scaly bark is grayish brown. Before we go, let's roll some snow. We'll make a snowman who will wear small twigs and pine cones for his face and leaves from beech trees for his hair. The end. As you saw in the book, trees come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, textures, and colors. Go outside and see for yourself all the buds, bark, and branches. Follow the link below this video to a scavenger hunt to help guide your outdoor adventure. Bring along some paper and crayons too so you can do bark rubbings along the way. All you have to do is pick a tree, lay the paper against the bark, and gently rub the side of your crayon against the paper. Pretty cool, huh? Thank you for joining me for Storytime. I hope you enjoyed Winter Trees by Carol Gerber with illustrations by Leslie Evans. Send us pictures of your bark rubbings on social media or email us at connect at baltimorewoods.org. See you next time.